Hey guys, I hope everybody's doing great. I'm back today to show you how to hand cut these beautiful paper doilies or snowflake. This is a fun and simple project that you can even do with kids. Well, kids who are old enough to handle scissors, you can make them as complicated or as simple as you want. So let's see how it's done. So let's start off with the 8 by 11 thin printer sheet of paper and I fold in one side of the sheet to create the perfect square shape and just make sure that you crease it down and line up all the edges and we're going to get rid of the excess rectangular shape at the bottom I use a ruler to get rid of it because that edge will be cut off later so it doesn't need to be perfect at this point as long as we have a square shape and next we're going to fold all the edges so the trick is to fold the edge with many different seams toward the edge with one seam here you can see that the larger triangle I just fold in half and now one side we have two seams and the other side we have one seam so now I'm bringing the size with the two seams toward the side with the one seam I will do this again a little later if you're not so clear but it should be uh, pretty easy so now we have three seams and again I'm creasing it down because I really want to line up all the edges and now I'm bringing the side with the three seams toward the side of uh, that has one seam at this point you have something that looks like a ice cream cone with a perfect triangle on top that we will get rid of so grab your scissors I want you to use something that's uh, quite sharp because we need to cut through many different layers of papers and you could see that I just got rid of the perfect triangle on top of that cone and now at this point you can just experiment with all kind of shapes that you like like right now I just round up the top and that shape will become like a petal when you open it up and next I just place in uh, random shapes because um, if you do this a few times you will get a good idea of what's gonna happen after you open it up so here I'm cutting along the edge taking off some papers creating some um, opening that by the time you open it up it will all come together and make it look interesting you can definitely um, experiment with just squares or triangles or circle shapes and it will come out really beautiful as well and here you can see I'm starting to cut just triangles off of this um, piece of paper and um, Usually we place the shape that we cut out on the spine of this um, of this triangle shape that we created, meaning the side with the one seam. And so um, you see when, when you open it up, everything will be kind of double or you get the mirror image of whatever you cut. And here you can see that I don't really try to press my scissors down too strongly I try to pull out the shape because I don't want to accidentally just cut the whole thing off so here is the first snowflakes that we have so when you open it up the triangle that I put in becomes like a diamond shape and the curved line on the top become part of the flower petal this looks more like a flower than a snowflake but you get the idea uh, I will do one more using a smaller sheet of paper and so I will not talk I'll just let you watch and follow the steps one more time you can even pull out a sheet of paper and do it along with me because I'm doing it pretty slowly and see what we got Thank you. 
that's it that's how you hand cut a snowflakes or a paper doily you can use these for many many different things um, you can layer them up and string a little light bulb in the center to make this beautiful um, lampshade out of paper that are hand cut it'll be really beautiful and elegant you can hang the light bulb like that from the top you can put it on the table and put your flower vest on top using it as a doily you can string them up and make the whole garland out of this and you definitely don't have to just use white paper you can use papers with many different colors and shape, shapes and um, patterns you can also tape these on the windows as little uh, snowflakes. You can cut them out of beautiful sparkling glitter papers or cover them with glitter. The possibilities are endless and I hope you give this tutorial a try to decorate your home this holiday season. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Happy Holidays!